Hey there, how you all doing? You are actually going to get a surprise, completely unplanned video from me today, but this is on a very important topic. Uh, just five minutes ago, I was watching Philip DeFranco's new video, so consider this kind of like a video spot. Hi Phil, hope you're doing well since uh, BitCon when we last talked. Uh, so this is about, this is a video about child abuse, as you know, and this is gonna come up a lot this week because of the mental health series that I have planned to upload this week, which is still obviously happening, but uh, I dealt with child abuse, physical, emotional, went well into my teenage and adult years, and um, it's, it's a long thing. So I have been more open about talking about it since the daddy o fight thing happened. I had always mentioned it in passing here and there in past videos, but I never fully talked about it and told my story on YouTube. I talked about it on Tumblr a lot, but I never talked about it much on YouTube until the daddy o fight thing happened and I just, I had enough and part of my activism work was gonna go to child abuse because it's a very big part of my life. So I wanna talk about the video of a three-year-old, a three-year-old boy, I believe, who, oh, there are, there are articles, okay. So my apologies, a three-year-old girl was uh, learning her numbers, learning some math, when her mother hits her in the face. Wow, this is close, this is actually very close to home, not uh, this particular situation, but girl, mother okay so the girl was being taught how to read her, her numbers learning her numbers in english i think and she gets very upset and her mother is slapping her in the face and i don't mean like a pat which even then i would be like what you doing what are you doing that for but the mother slaps her and i'm pretty sure i actually heard the slap so if I can hear a slap, if my almost profoundly deaf ears can hear a slap, then that's something. Oh, Grant, it, yeah. Then, the, then she starts crying, understandably, and it's terrible. And then, apparently, you know, obviously, understandably, it creates this huge backlash. And then the father and another man do a response type of video. And I'm not gonna go over these lines and make my own response to them because this is what has really ruffled my feathers. But because of her nature, if we don't push her, she won't study. If by push her you mean slap her, hit her, physically hurt her, then yeah, I probably wouldn't study either because I can't concentrate on that. I'm concentrating on the fact that someone who is my parent slapped me across the face for Something so, I don't know. The homework she gets in nursery of learning numbers she'll never be able to learn. She will be able to learn. You don't need to slap her in the face for that and send her crying. All the crying was for that moment so that her mother doesn't make her study and lets her play. Well, she's three years old. That is going to happen. They're three. Kids are three years old. They don't know any of anything other than wanting to play. They're going to cry because of that, but you don't slap them across the face. And it really didn't look like it was just because, it really did not look like the girl was crying because she wanted to go play. In fact, the article that I'm looking at says something like, it's not a big issue. In every house, there are different kinds of children. Okay, so you and why why does that mean that you need to slap her in the face and cause her to cry? Ours is a very stubborn child, but is extremely dear to us. If children throw tantrums, then should we stop teaching them? No, obviously you don't stop teaching them in life because they start throwing a tantrum, but you don't slap them across the face either. It's not easy to raise children. Look, I'm not a parent. Phil is a parent. I am not a parent. I am a parent to cats, but I am not a parent to children. So I'm not going to say whether it's easy or not. I know it's not easy. I've seen it. But it still, it still doesn't make it okay to slap around a kid. I am a parent as well and I know how difficult it is to have a kid. Well, I was a kid who got beaten and dragged and stuff like that. So I know what it's like to be on the kid's side of things. Listen, every time I got hit, 
I started trusting less and less. Whenever I got dragged, I started trusting less and less. I got more scared. Yeah, maybe the slap is the one and only time thing. But what if it isn't? I've seen cases when it starts like this and then it ends up just getting worse and worse and worse. It's not good. There's nothing wrong with disciplining a child, but you can do it without hitting them, especially in the face, especially without slapping them in the face, and especially over something as small as this. Yeah, studying is important, but this kid is also three years old. And again, you're slapping her in the face. And she's crying. She was already crying and then you just decided to slap her in the face after she made an error. And the fact that the uncle is saying I would have done the same thing if I was in their place, well great. I'm gonna feel bad for that kid when she's around you too. Parents, don't slap your children in the face if they're not able to grasp a concept after three or four days. I would suggest trying a different way to make them grasp the, grasp the concept a number slapping is not going to be one of those ways that is going to get her to grasp the concept it's just going to make her scared and that video proved it don't don't slap your kids and i hope that stuff like this doesn't get worse in that family because <laughs> obviously it's happening in other areas and other places and you can't save them all but hopefully for this girl that just doesn't continue i'll see you later